for that final regional, but it's now on top eight and really not having a performance they will have been happy with. They'll be making and looking to make amends, I should say, tonight, this evening. But you're right on the amendment to the roster for Lille and uh, Emre. I think most people from the outside would have said he was performing well with the team. They made a couple close qualifiers for regionals. Granted, they are looking for higher than that. Um, so they've picked up Econ, uh, a player who didn't make it to a single close qualifier, the full split. But to be fair, I think many times we were expecting that Lech or Kiel side to make it. So I'm curious whether this is a change that will stick in any respect. I thought Econ was one of the most promising bubble players for quite some time, thinking that he will push through eventually and make it to the ROCS. I haven't been exactly correct just yet, but I do think there's a lot of promise in him as a player. I do think the same for Emery, yeah. who I... Who I, I said many times now that if he didn't have to take a break or if he did play the RLCS in Season X, he would be at the same kind of level as Archie, Jorius, etc. All the kind of players around that kind of age range where he was. So I'm excited to see more of him in the future, but coming in with Econ, I think it is a good choice. It's a full French team now on the Lille Sports, and I think that will definitely help. And Econ is a great player to play with in general. Yeah, no, if there's anything that is very consistent in Rocket League, and that's that more French equals better in terms of success. I, I, I'll, show you, I'll, show you, I'll show you your thoughts about Emre. It's a shame that he did take that break. I don't know if I would expect the exact same heights as, I don't know how strong his mental game is, but we'll have to see where he ends up in this off-season, because, I mean, it's early on in game one, and it's still early on in what is the off-season in theory for these teams, you know? They will not be involved in the major. Um, so I get reasonably uncomfortable on multiple occasions there. Um, so it's quite about quite a lot of time for them to think and think, do we want to make a change? Do we want to try anything? Or are we going to get our heads down and just grind it out? You know, because the first regional isn't hitting until January time. Yeah, we've got a long time to grind out and win. This has been a very close initial game. Finds oh chance chances coming out for Navi off both posts that will bounce out from Tigre. The follow-up shot saved on the line by Econ. Looking for the clear, will find it out to the corner. Yukis has no boost. He can take his time to try and take this ball away with a good 50. It will break through for a minute. Econ once again with the save. Navi had possession for quite some time, but still no goal. Surprising, honestly, given just how close they got, but they're continuing to ask the questions here. Econ is going to get a fantastic clear away, though, as Lille continue to weather the storm. But I do feel like it is a matter of time unless they can clutch up the likes of which they haven't before on the counter. They did meet in the regional two close qualifier and never mind forget that Na'Vi are in the lead again they won 3-1 in that series in that close qualifier boyo and they've started out strong here as well finally the goal was found it was half a game of straight up Na'Vi pressure and finally one will slip on by two minutes 14 on the clock for game number one well they'll start off with the deficit but looking for one back is Econ off the back wall now they monster well beats him, but falling back down, it's Slowey off the backboard, bouncing around. Yukis waiting for your chance to pounce up in the midfield, not going to make it in time. Day monster will kill that ball. A bump on Slowey. Take it to Day monster. This is a good play from Navi, but the final touch from Louis P will not be found. So the shot will be yet to come for the second attack. A hopeful clear from Lille, who are continuing to be turtled up. Massive props to Navi, who are draining their resources, right? But Lille just aren't managing to keep the ball close at any moment. None of them feeling the confidence to take it down because they got such limited boost. Louis here, even then, just sort of flailing the ball away like a magic carp. It was painful to watch, but he's bought some time, you could say. Yukis is going to get the ball off the corner. And hang on a minute, it's worked out. One chance, one goal for Lille, and they've equalised. And, and very literally one chance. They've been sitting back for so long. No boost, as you mentioned, and in comes Econ yes. out of nowhere. He has three saves already. Now he gets a goal of his own, and we have a tied-up game with a minute 20 on the clock. It's so frustrating if you're Na'Vi as well. It could get under their skin early on, although I would expect them to be stronger than that. You know, it's just they've dominated this game entirely, but there's only one score line that matters, and Lil prove it to them. Degree. Try and continue the offensive for Na'Vi, but I think Lille have had a taste of offense, and I, I think they like the taste. I don't know what offense tastes like, Boyer. 
And what sort of spices would be in it? Sage or something? They're definitely going for it again. How, do you use spices when cooking? I hate to say, you're the only on ROC, it's not me. I think you should move it off into... Actually, never mind. Let's not mention ROC. No, no, don't, don't Let's mention Let's move on. Anyway, no. yeah, I had a cook. And oh. then they're cooking up in the kitchen. Off the bat, board. That's the number one for Navi. Definitely. Paprika is the one for this goal. Spicy flip reset double from Dead Monster. The Italian will certainly know his way about it. The cuisine department, I should hope. This is where it turns out he literally just like has microwave meals. But based off that goal, I'd say probably not. No, he's a bubble slash pro player. It's microwave meals. <laughs> it's not it a is. chance otherwise. <laughs> beans on toast, maybe? Beans on toast? I think you're fresh. <laughs> nah, you can't go wrong with beans on toast. Wait yeah, till beans can. on toast gets onto the continent. It's gonna go worldwide. It's but, it's just underrated. I, I agree, but you know, I don't think it's there yet. I don't think I don't think the I don't yeah. think the beans and toast have made it that far to continental Europe. <laughs> <laughs> it can't swim, that's the problem. Unfortunately yeah, soggy it's bread. <laughs> soggy bread. I would not have soggy <laughs> Soggy Beans on Toast is the name of the game here in game one of the semi-finals. It looks like Na'Vi should be able to close this out if Tigri can keep this ball close and shut it down, but has popped out from Econ. Luis gonna try and drop it down and drop it down he will. It is Na'Vi who strikes first. They will find game number one and well, in an extremely dominant fashion as well. I'm interested to see the stats. We don't see the stats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had that small glimpse of hope. You know what? I'll make them up. I love the replays, to be honest. But, I, I mean, do love can, the replays, can... but I, 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 I hold myself up there with the stats no. to see how many shots oh, that yeah, Navi had. Any, any just... stats? Oh, oh, will there be any stats? I actually don't know. Let's go. Oh, yeah. 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 There's two <laughs> shots. <laughs> two shots for the Leo and <laughs> 11 for Navi. That's oh what I was trying to talk about. There we go. Is. We got there. Aish. It doesn't surprise me, right? When I'm looking at the, the previous matchups, they, and I allude back to the, the Regional 2 matchup, it was first round of the closed qualifier, of course, for that regional. Na'Vi were the best team. They finished first in that closed qualifier. And it all started in that series against Lille, who ended up going out 15th of the 16th team. The 3-1 series. Uh, do you want to guess, based off that game, in, in the 3-1 in loss, how many goals do you think Lille scored in that series? The 3-1 loss? Yeah. How many can you say, like, two? Yeah, that would be fair close. It's three. It's three. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 not, not a bad guess at all. Uh, I, feel like were... yeah, I feel like you were trying to make the point that Lille don't score often. <laughs> not against Na'Vi, it seems. They were shut yeah. out twice. And it'd be fair they got themselves on the board. And, of course, that was Emery. They were playing that series with. Econ could be the difference maker, and he's got them onto offense early on off of that kickoff, but I think they're going to need to start scoring more than one goal in the game, to be honest. Oh, that's well. that's not going to help it. Look, uh, how, is, how has he done this? Seriously, though. What's was, Luis been... How much protein shakes is he on? Look at this. That's a really good goal, but I feel like it could have been saved, but the defense had all just in really bad positions and Yukas had to try and scramble it out. It didn't really work through, and one over Navi is a good first goal. And One thing I want to give Navi a lot of credit for. They may not have had the best RLCS season, but the most insane thing I've seen from Navi is since RLCS has ended, or at least EU has ended, I think they've scrimmed a team from almost every region now. <laughs> like, That's, they Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were scrimming um, some NA teams, scrimming some SAM teams. They, they, I think they warmed up complexity for their match against Space Station. <laughs> Why not? So, they were just, you know what, and I love that they're putting the effort in. But absolutely Chad internet at the boot camp in Berlin. That's what it is. It can handle it. And they've got some though. insane route in there. Yeah, they clearly can't handle the shot, though. Look at this read of the corner. I mean, anyone can hit this, but you can't hit it quite with that precision very consistently. That's an important finish from the man we were just talking about. A 1 1. The Leo heard us talking too much. Nice about Navi and want to get yeah. some goals of their own. We need to talk about the Leo for a little bit now. We've already, Let's just we've talk bad about, about Navi. You <laughs> Let's just talk. Oh. Let's just talk about that. Yeah, you know what? Navi. I don't know, I like the Oracle. I don't want to like. What? Navi, I like you as an Oracle. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't I, make our FCS that many times. There. Take, take that. I was I was very happy when they joined. I was just like so happy for the team, the fact they made the first two regionals back to back, but to then be on the precipice of making all three regionals of the split, which is. And a huge achievement in a region that's actually stacked, you know, Europe, unlike NA. And then they just got swept by SK and Giants. And it's like... I had to mention SK. Yeah, you wanted to, you wanted to bring that one up, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. SK, we're not going to move on to them. That was... Yeah, they, they had an experience. Tigre! Tigre! 
Look at that finish. Why is it, we keep talking about like different teams or different things and then now they are the new score. We talk talking about SK Gaming and taking his dives on through and gets a goal. And it's a good goal at that, it's an absolutely incredible dunk. The defender on the line tries to keep it out, but 2-1 for Navi, they have a lead once again. It's, it's, it's just over 90 seconds into this game, boy. I mean, if they want to keep scoring goals and entertaining us, I'm, gonna, I'm all for it. This is entertaining. Once again, Lille are going to have to be the ones chasing from behind, though. It feels like it's much of the same, oh. presenting in a different form. So, Louis, important save to keep their head above the surface for now, or at least their nose and their forehead. It doesn't feel like much of it's above the surface right now. Oh, well, two minutes gone by. Could become a free lunch going for Navi as the shots are coming oh. through. Slowly! <laughs> That's an incredible save! On the line, you keep it out. It's still a lead for Navi, but it could have been a lot worse. In comes Dem Monster, but still nothing. But Leo lucky to get that one out. He may get a counter attack off Whoa. it as well. Tigre, an incredible save. Some incredibly cool saves being made. Yeah, I was going to say the proper flexible. We've got a gymnastics class here on Manfield Night between Lille and Navi, but somehow we're limited to the three goals. It could have been six or seven if the defense wasn't so impressive. They are going to double commit, as I say that, of course. Luis getting the credit for the clear away. Lille starting to turn up the heat, but Tigri again going to put them in the fridge. I'm not sure about that from Luis. He's uh, a little bit confused. Get himself. Sorry, the second I said the word fridge boy, I just suddenly started thinking about fridge magnets, which are kind of redundant now, because a lot of people have, like, cupboard fridges. Do you have a cupboard fridge? I, I first need to ask why you got on the subject of fridge magnets. Because Econ scored. Econ, exactly. Because Econ, yeah, because Econ scored. Yeah, and he's cool under pressure, like a fridge. I don't know where the pressure comes into it, but it's 2-2 two -two on two minutes. And it's nowadays, satisfying as well, like when you close the fridge door. The economy prices um, for fridges are usually the metal ones, which you can put the magnets on as well. Yes. Are Rocket League cars magnetic, though? Can you put ma- Right, say on it. Because I know- Cars, I know you're watching. Because I, I <laughs> know- it. Oh! <laughs> okay, all right, give me a second, say on it. That was a really good call by Slowy. It wasn't all by Slowy. It was also with the help of Navi, but oh you know what? My. I'll take it. It's a good goal. That goal is worth all the fridge magnets in the world. It's a beautiful flip reset. I said Lille got to start scoring more than like one goal a game. They're up to three here from 2-1 down, and we've still nearly got two minutes to play. This game two has it's been ignited from the start, but it's, it's just been set ablaze. But anyway, can I say my thing about fridge magnets for one second? Are they going to score again? Psyonix, can we get <laughs> fridge magnet customization to the car? Yes. I know it's what not I'm a saying. fridge, but like, you know, okay, we'll call them car magnets. And it's got to have a little light on the inside when you like open up a door. Oh. Like a fridge light. Yeah, for, for the top for, you shelf. Know, we're Unreal Engine 5 coming, you know, we need to get like, True. we need to be able to open the car doors and have like the windscreen yeah. wipers come on. We need to get full customizable. We need like windscreen wipers, <laughs> car doors opening and closing. If you, if you have your car door open, you have like a bit of a weirder hitbox and they can get like, hit shot. <laughs> okay, no, the, car, the car door can't open in-game. It's going to be not? like cosmetic. Yeah, it's cosmetic. I mean, it can open yeah. for the celebration, like the goal wing door. On the, oh, oh, how many flip please. reset goals are we going to get? Luis has made it 3-3. Why did he keep getting flip reset goals? Like, score some boarding goals. What? <laughs> Why? Why are they all this good? What? The standard of goals in this game has been outrageous. It, because they, they're tr clearly trying to sell the fridge magnets to Sionics. Yeah, for, for a six goal game, it's been surprisingly really good goals, which is yeah. extremely odd for a six goal game. You'd expect a lot of them to be like, big defensive mistakes slowly rolling to net. But the, I would say maybe one of them has been kind of boring, but the rest? This is a collector's item of a game, this one. It's that rare. It's like oh, the best Sigrid. of three. Okay, uh, Sigrid's gonna get seventh in this game, that one probably one of the least impressive of the bunch, and considering it's not even that a bad goal, it, it that says enough about this game. Yeah, slowly tries to dive in, he'll get a soft touch on it, but it was not enough to find the save. For four free for Navi now, they take the lead back. 37 seconds left, and they're looking to take game number two to head to match point in a game which I don't know who should actually be winning it, I, because both yeah. teams have done an incredible job. I don't even understand. It's just trying to—it's like, it's like skate when you're setting the skill moves and you just got all like one up each other right now. Oh, I think okay. we didn't get the memo, unfortunately, and they got to hold for 20 seconds. Do Navi to get themselves onto match point in what seems like a bizarre back and forth, lovely three-man passing wow. play. But Slowy's going to get—it's <laughs> not his first ridiculous save of the game. Yeah, and it's his fifth save in total for this game. Oh, Last my. game it was Econ with all the saves. 
This time it's Louie with five. <laughs> up comes Louie peeing back up the other end, and let Leo can keep this high. It will be a game for Navi, but what a game it has been nonetheless. Ecom with the same, the pass out to Slewy. He'll go by himself, it's a weak shot to net, Navi just lets it drop. They didn't want to risk anymore, and Sane goes coming by. They take game two. I, I, I don't know how to digest that game, to be honest. It, it's bizarre. Uh, Lily almost feels harsh to them that they're down two in the series, but that's the reality of the situation. They've had a very up and down run through the tournament. You could say they were expecting to go through the likes of the winner of against Wolves against Williams, but those two teams never played each other, right? We had the Mega Mine and the Olaf Curried upsets coming through. So Lil, you could say on paper, had an easier run than they were expecting, but no one wants to go up against a team that's on a run and in form. They managed to quell those, but right now they're on the receiving end of that from Na'Vi, who are kind of reminding us why they're that sort of little bit of a tier above, even if that second game was awfully close. Well, that's a very close second game, but I am slightly leaning towards the sweep here as much as I don't want to. I it depends like... on first goal. If I, I, if, if Na'Vi gets the first on goal, the I agree. depends on the goal. Who gets the best that, goal? Like are like we going to weird... start waiting the goals based off how cool they are? Yeah, it's like a weird freestyle contest yeah. just going on, but like not really. It's just the players get to decide. Yeah, so like an average goal, like a center into, you know, the defense just gets a bit beat by. It's not like a direct infield pass. That's just worth one. Like, but like a poor goal, like a bad whiff or a miss it, that's only worth like 0.5. Yeah, that's like so, worth less. Okay, so are we going to like create our own scoring efficient for this game, like coefficient? I feel like we can't enforce it though. <laughs> you definitely can't enforce it, no. I feel like um, we tell like Navi if they win this game, it's like you didn't throw good enough gold, you actually have to play another game. It would be some issues. <laughs> they win it like 2-1, but they're like, actually, when you look at the coefficient, you only got 1.4. Those were two pretty poor goals, but that Lille goal was, that was worth 1.7. That was Yeah, they were a little bit better. Just, sorry. There's a date wager since my heart. That's how life goes. <laughs> Wait to on Reddit up, folks. <gasps> oh, oh, how many for this? Look at the okay, oh, no red apples for that, that one. Not even, not even close. Not even close. It's gonna get down votes. How much for us getting excited, not realizing Econ was somehow back on the goal line in time. Uh, the deep, it's so weird this game, this whole series, because the goals have been insane, but also the defense has been really wild. Like they've made some incredible saves and incredible goals. They're not really doing anything badly. I just think it's. So much respect in the midfield is being given that we're having so much direct attack, which is forcing the defense to be as impressive as it is to avoid just how many goals these two teams are capable of scoring. I feel like they're both quite happy to fall back very quickly. I mean, Navi are keeping up the pressure good so far, but it's not like Lille are threatening to break out. All three of them in their defensive third for so long now until that nice little flick off the wall from Slewy links up with Econ, and now you see immediately the transition is Na Navi, if the one for that whiff, of course, would have been fully on the back foot, but Lille have let that one come off the boil, and I wish I could have a replay of that whiff. I don't think you would, it reminds you of some history. Either way, no, no, 90 seconds. Navi, you have to find the goal, but the same for the Lille. Game number three, you said it would be the first goal that counts the most, and Navi yeah. had the, the best chance to find the first. Oh! Then comes the Leo trying to find the first for themselves. It was incredibly close. Luis B is the ones making the fantastic save now. It'll feel like he certainly should have had an opening goal. But we wait for the breakthrough here. Two minutes scoreless, which you wouldn't have believed could have possibly happened if you saw the previous game. But alas, it has. And that is Rocket League. Louis on the offensive end now. Luis providing the answer again. It's now Dead Monster. Linking up down for you. You see you gets on the back foot. He will go to the backboard and control that one. Keep it close. Mosquito across, so Tigri unable to play it directly. Na'Vi feel like they're poking, prodding, waiting for a mistake. Can they oh, force one here? Yeah. I think they can. Luis has got it. In comes Louis P. Finding the first for Na'Vi. Oh, a team bump there from Econ and Gukas. I don't know if it would have been saved without the team bump. Either way, it's a goal for Na'Vi. They find the first, pouncing on the opportunity that they were granted. Lil. Really up against it. Hopefully, prove me wrong. I said if Navi get the first goal, it is over. But we're far, far from over. Given the fact we got half this game still on the clock. Econ is going to have some space to work with here. He's not got too much boost left. He's played it low. He's played it. Oh, Ross, though, realized the space he was given. What a smart play from the Frenchman. A very nice goal there for Econ. Just slips it past Dead Monster. 
literally tried to steal it, but no success. Couldn't find that one right there. Oh, two two minutes on the claw, just about. On one. Someone's definitely got their fridge magnets at home. If they're scoring yeah. goals like that, Econ. I bet you he goes to his fridge and it's got like, you know, there's more fridge magnet than there is door on the fridge. <laughs> like he's, he's got it. He's got like a really it's covered. Big, it's the, the fridge magnet only like works in the center because the rest of it just hangs off the fridge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just... pretty. It's like a it's like a fridge magnet mosaic. Do you think I could get a floor made out of that? Well, you need a floor which fridge magnets can stick on. Yeah, I mean, we can work around that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Sorry, that whiff was nearly fatal for Lille, but they're going to get away with it because Na'Vi weren't expecting it as much as we weren't. The pressure does continue for Na'Vi, but a familiar place for Lille to be is the defence this whole series long, especially game one, oh. they've been here, the Den Monster. He just scores that. Could that be the series winning his goal? He's literally just taken the ball and the Lille side for a walk as Luis has, but he's done a double, well, not more than walk to the goalkeeper there. He, he, Completely demolished him, and their monster calmly composed, putting it in the back of the open net. Well, the Leo coming through with Slui, it'll be Louis P to find the save. Econ of the corner, not enough. Tigre trying to get the dribble away. Yukis off the corner, big launch up field. Louis, pin shot fall. Dead monster will catch and off at the back wall it will go. Bouncing high. Econ gonna leave that ball. Yukis looks at the pass to Econ. They're pushing it up, you're a big pinch away. But it just hits Louis P in the midfield and the possession is all lost. Dead monster. Recovery. Not going to be dangerous, but he's killing more precious time off that clock that is counting down second by second, which is, of course, exactly how clocks work. But unfortunately for Lille, it doesn't look like it's going to stop any time as the pop comes through on towards the net. Luis, again, it feels like Na'Vi, if anything, are the ones who are going to score next. Another attempt. Well, Leo, keep on trying, but still no success. A double demo right there, but TJ is quick to pounce back on the ball. 20 seconds, and it'll be a sweep for Navi if nothing changes. It's been an incredible series by both teams, but Navi in every single game have just had the upper hand and the goal scoring capabilities. But to give them some credit to Leo, they have played a great series. Navi have just played a little bit better. Ah, that seems to be the moral of the story, but unless there's one last hurrah from Yukis, forced it across, but the bounce is down. The touch from Tigri, and the ball is down. Na'Vi take the semi-final in a sweep. They're me moving on towards a best of seven grand final qualifier against Barcelona. Barcelona sitting there waiting. Both teams have had their fair share of time in the RFCS heat in there. It's only fair that there's a battle between them to make it to the A's Monaco Finals. The question is, Navi or Barcelona? We're going to have to find that out after the break. The Monaco Gaming Show Finals is not going anywhere. We've got one series to go, a best of seven. We'll see you after the break.